It's such an easy way to support the liver. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> from me and my detox water and my I was gonna say my kitchen but from my husband. from your husband? Beautiful husband from my beautiful husband <laughs> let's talk about the detox water really quickly so it's everything that I've already showed you it's just the chlorophyll but I just call it detox water give it you know a fun name to remember it by because it really does help with detoxification. It helps your liver. Chlorophyll is super rich in copper. And so the liver needs copper and it helps the liver to detoxify. So if you watch my metabolism video, if you watch my videos on just kind of like the pain-free period, all that kind of stuff, it's really important to give the liver what it needs. The liver is very needy, obviously. It's such an easy way to support the liver so that the liver can do its job and detox. I've been loving because our lemon tree, as you saw, is producing like the best, sweetest lemons. Like, oh, it's so good. So the lemon water in here, with the chlorophyll it just makes it really refreshing and honestly in a weird way like mm -mm. of course I got a lemon seed it just tastes super refreshing and you can't even really taste the chlorophyll I feel like with the whole lemon squeezed in there and it's just really good so give it a try I notice such a huge difference when I'm doing all of the steps that I've talked about in my previous videos. Chlorophyll was a huge supplement that I added into my diet in the past year that's made such a big difference. Plus, the lemons are super high in vitamin C. You're just getting a lot of goodness in this one little cup. But the cup, I'm actually doing a little giveaway if you're doing the daily bread challenge. If you're not, download the guide below. I'll leave a link for you in the description box. But I'm doing a little giveaway with this and my Bible, not my Bible, but the same Bible that I have, and then one of these cups and a $75 dollars starbucks card and like all these other goodies um so if you want to join the daily bread challenge you can enter that giveaway but today i am so excited because we are actually painting this front room where we have our little home gym it just needs a little love in here and needs a little help i was gonna say a lot of the times we think of exercise in just the form of you know weights you know we just think of it as like doing a workout doing your inner strength workout doing you know doing some type of like exercise if you will it's just so important to kind of get outside of just the workout and and move try to move throughout the day you know a lot of the times too we get really really tight muscles from being in that flex position sitting all day and it's just so important to move it's awesome because doing things like this like doing things like painting doing things like gardening in my last video if you watched the last video you'll saw uh you'll saw you'll have seen you will have seen when i was uh sweep what was i doing sweeping mopping vacuuming i don't know what i was doing i was cleaning i was mopping the floor and i actually like kind of did a little thing in text description in there saying basically like it's just so important to move in other forms not just like okay i just did my exercise and like that's the only form of movement all day and don't get me wrong don't get me wrong 
If that's all you can do right now and it's great, I'm just saying, I'm just wanting to encourage you that that other forms of movement are, they count, they're just as important, you know what I mean? Because that's the thing, like a lot of the times too, if you are cleaning and you are standing at work all day, that is all so important and so good for you and it is absolutely a part of your daily movement and it's actually, that is what it is, it's called neat. Thinking like, how can I just move more today? Honestly, like picking up your room, making your bed, painting a room. I mean, I'm, you know, I don't know if you're gonna paint a room every single day, but you know what I mean? I'm really excited because I feel like today is a very neat day. It's a very neat day. It's a very non-exercise activity kind of a day. Before all that, I'm gonna drink my water. I'm gonna drink my detox water though, and I'm going to read. I'm gonna do a little daily bread. Uh, we're doing the daily bread challenge on my Instagram right now. So I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna spend time with God. I like it. It's like a little. You want a palm? Meat. Yeah, a palm. Okay. Palm. Okay. Palm. I got it. Don't worry. I got a new it. addition to our home. It's our new baby. I like this one. I like that one. Mm -hmm. That all looks so good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like it. There it is. That is such a cute pot. I'm obsessed with this. Ow, it poked me. Yeah, that's what will do that to you. Oh, those things got spikes on it. Which one did you get? I got the angry kind. You got the angry one. Go cool. uh, take it to the house. I'm so happy it's about this. Fun. You're a funny, funny character. Why? I just let you work your magic. Feeling ready to paint? Do you have a paintbrush? Do I have I, one paintbrush. Do I have? Do I? Cam, okay, okay, hold on. I want to help, but I'm really bad at painting. How hard can it be? I can paint, like I can paint a wall. When Bo's sister was redoing her house, we went over to help them to paint and stuff. It was such it was a bad. wreck. It was so bad. And was, I like tried it was so- It in the garage. I was just, it was, it was And like I tried, it was like one of those moments where I was painting and I thought I was doing such a good job. I'm like crushing it. And all of a sudden it like got really quiet and I like turned around and everybody was looking at me, watching me paint. And I guess I was like, painting wrong apparently i was using uh just a paintbrush and you're supposed to use like a roller so everybody was watching me and like laughing at me but i guess i'm like really bad at it well yeah you are but <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay we all have our strengths and weaknesses yeah. plant down plant down that's what happens we can't have anything nice oh poor baby <laughs> ah! oh I'm my sorry. gosh oh my gosh one more oh my gosh Oh my gosh! I'm sorry. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm so, babe! Honey! You... It's not my fault. Is that just dirt? made the oh! biggest. Oh! Oh, there's dirt! Honey! Come on, man! <laughs> I didn't know that. Honey, it made the biggest man, mess possible. You got a big mess to clean. <laughs> You got a big mess to clean. It makes the biggest I didn't want the plant. Mess. You did, so you better clean up your mess. <laughs> it, it like was worst case scenario. It like spilled and then started flying everywhere in the back. I'm super excited because our sink came. I am so excited. It is beautiful. It's a, I think it's ceramic fire clay or something like that, but I think it's gonna look so beautiful in the kitchen and I cannot believe it's here. The cabinets are going in next week. So we're finally getting some movement on the kitchen. Really quick little tip for you on protein. So I don't count calories. I don't do any of that kind of stuff. I'm very intuitively led when it comes to eating. And so, and that's always what I share with you. But I do get questions like, you know, how do I make sure that I am getting enough protein? 
Protein is so incredibly important for your metabolism. And remember, when we talk about metabolism, it's not just like looking a certain way, like how you look. It's really truly about your health and your metabolism is so interconnected with your hormones. And so that affects everything, your cycles, your energy, your mood, like literally everything. So just a little tip for you. I personally like to aim for about 20 to 25 grams of protein per meal. And then for your snacks, I like to do like 10 to 15 grams of protein. It usually ends up being, you know, right around there. But yeah, so for your main meals, I like to do 20 grams. So like for example, um, it's just easy. So like on the turkey, two slices are 11 grams of protein. So I just do four slices of protein. So uh, four slices of protein. I do four slices of the turkey to get just over 20 grams of protein, if that makes sense. So that way I know I'm getting enough protein in for this meal. And I notice in my energy how I feel cycles, everything, like I notice in how I feel from the day to day, especially around lunchtime, like I need to be making sure that I'm getting in a nice solid meal where I'm eating carbs and protein together, stabilize my blood sugar, give me energy for the rest of the day. That's the thing, I have energy all day. And so this is just, again, everything. It's always to empower you, to just help you. And so like even on like tuna, I love to have tuna wraps and salads and sandwiches and whatever uh, for lunch as well. And so in one can of tuna, there's about, I think like 21 to 22 grams of protein. So I just eat the whole can of tuna and that's enough protein for that meal. So for this, I'm gonna do four slices or whatever. You can do four or five, whatever you want. Just saying, I just, I like to be mindful of getting enough so that I can fuel my body and nourish my body. It's not about numbers and like, I don't know, like hitting a certain amount. It's just that when you get enough protein, when you are eating enough protein, it's it affects your health, you know what I mean? So hopefully that helps you and kind of just gives you an idea. I really don't do that with like carbohydrates. Usually you just have like a serving, but sometimes I feel like sometimes protein can be a little bit just more challenging to get in. I always hear questions and things like that from you. So, you know, it is, it's kind of like, I don't know how to get enough protein. It's hard to get enough or how do I know if I'm eating enough? And this is actually something that is, I talk about in inner strength in the program, but a lot of times people just focus on post-workout protein and you know, just post-workout, I just gotta get in my post-workout protein shake or post-workout protein for recovery, recovery, recovery. But what's missing and what's a really, actually really the biggest thing and actually is the thing that you need to be focusing on the most is your total protein intake. It's eating enough protein throughout the whole day and throughout every day. It's not just about post-workout, because think about it. If you're just eating, you know, 20 grams of protein post-workout, but you're not eating enough protein throughout the whole rest of the day, it's just not gonna be enough. It's just not enough protein for recovery for your muscles. Like it takes a lot to build muscle and maintain muscle, sustain it. It's so much more even than muscle. It's just, you know, it's your hormones. Like it's everything. It's, everything is so interconnected. Anyway, I just thought I would throw that out there with a little protein tip. Let me know if you like talking about this kind of stuff. Let me know if you have any questions on anything like that. If you want me to go more in detail about Literally anything, I'm just, I'm here to help you. So, and I know the background is really messy by the way, but I'm just like going with it. You know what, this is life currently and it's okay. It's just the season that we're in. There's not a lot of places to put things. So anyway, and we have all the stuff from the other room now in here cause we're gonna paint, which let's do that. Let's eat lunch and let's get some painting done. Yeah, you're fine. You can dip it. Is that good? And then do it. Is that good? Why would you do this time? I stepped in the paint thing. Cause that that was like thick paint, and I and I wiped all the paint off in there. Yeah, your foot would have been just covered. I'm telling you, this is how I am. Look at you already have paint all over your hands. I know. I like. I can't. I'm just like. I'm not. I don't know. I step in the paint. Last time when I was painting, remember when we were painting with Vicky, and I like put my hand on something and I was like, oh my gosh, let's see how this more goes. To, more to come.
Looks so good, it feels so fresh in here. I'm taking my beef liver and probiotic and the paint that's all over my arm. <laughs> Time to go eat dinner. So hungry, I'm so ready to eat. Okay, let's go. Mm. That's so good. Is it nice? Yeah. Okay, beet salad. This is so good. I love beets, I crave them, they're so good. And tuna salad, easy dinner tonight. It's really good. This is nice. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. What's your pizza? That looks so good. I would if it was gluten free. So long silent movies, the quiet dances on the screen. So long to burning slowly, smelling sweat and kerosene. And all the actors on the stage are rolling cigarettes and whispering so low. Dang, look how beautiful it is. My I love it. It makes me feel so happy. So long, silent movies to wake in early, staying late. That's like my new thing is wearing headbands. They just keep my hair from getting super, super sweaty. This one's from Lululemon, it's really old. Like I just took a shower this morning. I don't wanna like wash my hair every single day. So the headbands, this is like a moisture wicking one and it's thick so it really covers my hair. And then I just put my hair up in a bun which I'm defeating the purpose of doing that right now because I just took it out. But yeah, I just did an inner strength workout and it was such a good workout. Like it's always like just the perfect amount. Do you take cold showers after your workout? I feel like I crave a cold shower or is a cold shower just like, I don't know, you don't do that. Like it's like, nope, cold, nope, not doing it, not about to freeze. Good for your circulation too. So anyway, I'm gonna go take a shower and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, if you are not signed up for the weekly email, sorry, my voice is like literally going, you can subscribe by getting the Healthy Start Guide or which comes with the seven day stronger challenge, which is literally amazing. If you just wanna, if you feel like you need a reset, just kind of like from the inside out, it is a amazing the healthy start guide it's free i'll leave a link to that or you can do or you can do both the daily bread challenge which is actually currently happening right now on my instagram but you can join that and do that actually really whenever you want to do that it's super fun it's free and both of them are free you can download them both i'll send them straight to your inbox and then you'll be subscribed to the weekly email so that's gonna be it i love you so much and i will see you in your inbox and in the next video bye it's a beautiful morning don't throw it away if I gave you the sunset, you wish for the rain. Do you?